The Secret to Setting and Achieving Your Goals There's no big secret to achieving what you want out of life. The way to make your goals a reality is by empowering yourself with intellectual, emotional and practical tools, and converting them into habits. Here are the 7 tools you need to achieve your professional or personal goals 1. Define your dream. Many of us dream about getting a promotion, earning more money or changing careers. Have you ever asked yourself why it is that once you have the promotion, the additional spending money or the new job, why you still aren't happy? The reason is probably because you haven't defined what your dream really is. It might not be the promotion, but just recognition for a job well done, nor the extra cash, but the means to surround your family with comfort, nor changing careers, because you think that a new career will give you the excitement and enthusiasm you have lost. 2. Convert your dream into a goal. The difference between a dream and a goal is a written date. Writing down a specific goal and a date forces us to do things we might never have done. It permits us to measure our progress and keep us focused on reaching that dream. 3. Write your goal on post-it notes and put them everywhere. Each morning and evening before you go to sleep, read your goal. Envision yourself as that successful person. Feel the luxury of that new car. Smell the ocean from your dream vacation. See yourself sitting at the desk of your own company. Make that goal yours in your mind. When you write down your goal, make sure that it is specific and motivates you. 4. Make a list of your assets and resources. An asset could encompass your education, experience, or personality. It could include the people you know, your bank account, your personal appearance and even your car. If you have a hard time coming up with your assets, ask your friends, colleagues and family about your good qualities. 5. Write down the obstacles. The moment you set a goal, you and others will find a million reasons why you can't or shouldn't go after it. Contrary to a popular book, you will not attract obstacles or the naysayers just because you are aware of them. In fact, the purpose of preempting barriers will facilitate your recognizing them when they occur and not use them as excuses to desist. For example, an obstacle list could include, I am afraid of failure, I am too old for the job and no one will promote me, I am too busy with my home life to put the time into getting promoted, I am not experienced enough to lead a large staff. 6. Write down why you want this goal. Do you deserve to be happy and have what you want? What are you willing to sacrifice to achieve it? Do you want this more than anything else and are you willing to face anything to achieve it? If your why isn't strong enough, you will not achieve your goal and will be able to blame the perceived obstacles. Your why should look something like this. I want to become a fill in the blank because I want to proud of my accomplishments. I want my family and friends to feel happy about my achievements. I want to do more for myself and my family and by accomplishing this goal, I can provide them with the lifestyle they deserve. 7. Write your action plan. A book is read from the first page to the last, but goals are set from the end and work up to the beginning. Where do you want to be in 20 years, 10, 3, 1 year, a month from now? Most of us spend our time putting out fires, helping others and dealing with life's daily activities, many of which have nothing to do with our dreams. From now on, I want you to focus, focus, focus. Everything you do should lead you to achieving your goal. Notice how you spend your money and what percent goes toward achieving that goal.